This year we have seen rumors of a Nintendo Cinematic Universe, of a Smash Bros. movie. V. People thought this would be very, very unlikely. Why would Nintendo do this? But given the money the Mario movie made, this has a lot of box office potential. A lot. Okay. The only problem was to be... And, uh, and yes, a Smash Bros. movie will be truly an animation live action hybrid. Because, of course, the Mario movie is animated and the Zelda movie is going to be live action. He said, a true live action animation hybrid movie. V. And you always talk about, oh, but you, you know, but you're against live action animation hybrids. Okay. I, I don't understand why, you know, every movie that is not, you know, a massive blockbuster is considered, for example, Socket considered an uh, animated live action hybrid, but none of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies out, a reader isn't, or any of the Godzilla movies out, even though those movies use heavy use of CGI characters in the movie, and CD CGI characters are focal points. See, Rocket, Groot, Godzilla, and a reader, you know, being major characters in their own movies. V's. V's. Of course, Mario being an animated movie and all the Mario animated characters being an important part of this Smash Bros. movie. This will, of course, take a while to pull off, considering the fact that Illumination also has other IPs they have to tend to, including Despicable Me, me as well. Well, and of course, the Migration movie, which has just come out today. But, yeah. Mario becoming this massive success, even if Migration is, a f- is Illumination's first ever failure, Mario has made so much money that it will, co- it will cover for the failure of Migration. Sin, if Migration fails to pull off any sort of rigs like Person Boots did. did. But given the fact that it is the holidays, it is very unlikely Migration will lose money, given the fact that holiday movies usually have extremely good rigs. Especially if an animated movie releases during the holidays. Given Spider-Verse's success and given Puzzle Boots' success. Both movies did extremely well over the holidays days. Given to be an animated competition for the big massive movies. And also Aquaman given, given Aquaman, Wonka are kind of like the tentpole movies. These Migration will be kind of like the animation side offering you usually get during the holidays. The massive, the small opening movie that has massive rigs over the holidays. This is, of course, given a record set, given the fact that the Great Showman and Person Boots are examples of small opening movies that have massive rigs over the holidays. But yeah, Smash Bros. movie is apparently coming alongside of Smash Bros. 6 as well. I wonder, will Illumination have any tie ins to the Smash Bros. 6, given the fact that Illumination is in. Because then it is working of Nintendo on a Smash Bros. movie reportedly. Could we possibly see Illumination characters in Smash Bros.? I know it will break Sakurai's quote unquote non video game character rule, but of course, they don't even have to use Illumination characters. They could as heck use characters from the Mario movie and the Zelda movie, and heck, they could do that and add them as skins for Mario and Wink in those games as well. You know, make a more animated version of the live action version of Wink, and make a more, uh, and of course, add Mario, you know, voiced by Chris Pratt, either by a separate character or most likely as a skin for Mario. And that's about this video here. Goodbye.